Hey guys, Wolf of Dimensions coming back at you with a new video, this time starting off the uh, Godzilla figure reviews for, for the ones I can, for the stuff I have. I've had a collection for a long time, never thought to put stuff up, but this could be a new addition. Now, uh, as you see, we got Kamada Kun right here. Um, I just got him today, actually, and um, this is the day of recording. So when you see this, this is the actual day I got him. Um, he looks really nice. Look at him in the light a bit better. Um, for right now, until I get something set up, the quality is not going to be amazing. But as you can see, he looks pretty good. Um, now the paint job, ooh, it's not beautiful. They are making a repaint. But uh, a lot of the stuff about this figure is really nice. How they did the spines, the tail, how long the tail is, how big the figure is compared to others, and the gills. They did amazingly. Like, I am really happy about this figure because I've been wanting the Shin Godzilla collection stuff ever since it came out because, you know, Shin Godzilla has become one of my favorite movies. And I think right now is on my favorite movie list because of what it portrays and what it realizes. Like, emotionally, morally, and idealistically, Shin Godzilla right now is my favorite movie. And uh, even though most people make the whole joke about this one being derpy... I think it was really creepy, and like, you know, seeing this weird thing just shuffle through the streets and destroy buildings with how grotesque and strange it was, was really, it was a, it was a groundbreaking moment for me in the thought of how Godzilla could be viewed. Now, uh, his chest piece right there, the start of it's there, his little, uh, nubs are there, his feet are pretty good. Now, uh, the feet are the only pieces of articulation, so that's about two. Everything else is not. The tail is a glue piece. You could break it, but I would not recommend that. Um, the mouth has good design. There's nice, lovely shade shadings of red. The eyes have that same look. Um, there's some of those really nice, um, like, mannequin figures that people have made, the really detailed ones. And uh, they gave him a pupil, which I don't really like. I like the whole beady eye per portrayals um, most of these figures have. And uh, the gills have the whole underneath part and everything. Uh, the spines are really nice. Now, uh, that's a, that's the thing I really like about this uh, this monster itself, is that the spines have a really cool design. They're kind of reminiscent of um, the 90s gods. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, not the 90s. R remind me of the uh, 60s Godzilla for the two smaller dorsal spines and the one bigger row in the back. That's what it reminds me of. I almost made an oops there. Um, the detailing on the skin is really nice, like the folds, how it was made, each little crease and the lines. It's a lot better than some of the other figures that have been released in the Godzilla movie series. The tail, though, not an amazing detail, not much sculpting on the tail piece. Um, as I said right now, camera quality is going to be not as good until I get a pure setup for this series. Um... I don't know, like, I really like this figure, like, I thought it was going to be a bit bigger, but, um, I'm not disappointed. I compare him to a bunch of others, and, um, he's really nice. He, he goes standard with most of them, like, he fits really well in, in size comparison with the rest of them. So I'm not too disappointed about it. I actually like how he looks and how he feels, and, uh, really just how his whole design is. The only problem I have with this figure is color. They are doing repaints, but I kind of wanted the original. Like, this is what originally came out for this figure. So I did want this version. Later on the road, I might get the repaint versions. I will try to get the SH Monster Art versions of these two, Shin Godzilla and 54. I do have an SH Monster Arts figure, though, of 64. Him being one of my top favorite uh, Godzilla suits and costumes. Um, you can actually go see. I do have a top 10 list for my favorite Godzillas. My favorite costume designs as well for the Godzilla series. Um, I like how they have this posture. It fits really well. It's exactly from the movie. They didn't shape out on detail. Like, and that's, I think that's what I, when I look at these figures, like if you look at some of the Bandai figures, they're not very well detailed. But this right here is like, well, I mean Bandai creation more of. But this right here is a really nice figure to look at. And it, it, it's a real good centerpiece. Like, um, I think this in uh, Shinagawa-kun and uh, Shin Godzilla, 
I think they're going to be really good centerpieces. I do have a bunch at the front. Um, I will start doing more of these, by the way. Um, this is just the starting one. I'd also like to note that the, uh, how the spines taper. The only bad part about this is that you can see how the spines are glued in. They're a bit of a different color on the back plates. Um, that's not too bad. It's just a minor nitpick. You can see it right there. But how the tail tapers, how the detail is for it, it's really good. There's also this, uh, I never noticed this, but there's this cool little ridge on his thigh that's, I guess is a bone. I never noticed it before, but it's like jutting out of his thigh. That's really cool. Now, um, as I said, I will be doing more of these. So look forward to them. I have a collection. I have a good few. This will last a few episodes, and I will be getting some more. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. Wolf of Dimension signing off. See you guys.